Yeah. Sam Club, Sam's Club, Walmart's membership only warehouse is the nation's eight. Let's try that again. The nation's eighth largest retailer. There you go. The company boasts more than 47 million members in the U.S., earning $57 billion in revenue last year. It was created in 1983 to help small businesses. Sam's Club is now teaming up with Gallup for a new poll focused on American businesses with five employees or less. Forbes named President and CEO Roslyn Brewer, one of the world's 100 most powerful women in 2013. She's with us once again in Studio 57. We saw you last year about this time. Welcome back. I did. Thank you for having me. So when Glad you were here, back. you said your goal is to grow it into a $100 billion company. We just heard the figure. Are yes. you on track? We are. We are on track. We're excited about where we are. Uh, what we're focusing on right now is to make sure that we get this digital transformation to happen with our business and so our online business is growing nicely and so we're looking forward to this 100 billion dollar mark for us. You know it's incredible if you think about the changing landscape of the grocery business etc because as you mentioned Amazon Prime is getting into that. What do you mean when you say you're refocusing your digital? So for us we've always had a samsclub.com mm -hmm. and we've sold online but we do think that with 600 120 units in the U.S. That's the number of uh, clubs that we have in the U.S. Mm -hmm. We think that there is a business for us that combines both. Uh, currently, you can buy online and then pick up in club mm. and have your uh, delivery ready for you when you're there. We think that there is more work to be done in that space where we combine what happens online and what happens in our clubs. So really making it easier for our member to access goods the way they want to access goods. Mm -hmm. I assume online will take an increasing share of your revenue. Uh, will contribute an increasing share to your revenue. Yes. How will the balance end up between in-store and online? Well, we're seeing both. Uh, really, our members still like to come in and shop. They love the thrill of the hunt and the excitement of finding something new in the club. You'll never take that away from the average consumer, but there is still growth to be had online. Mm -hmm. Tell us but, but the balance between online and in-store will be, you know, 20% online or 50% you know, online? It or? could it could be 20% online, and we, we would enjoy that. We would enjoy that. Uh, tell us about the poll that you all did with Gallup and Sam's Club looking at, at women in business and smaller businesses. Yes, so we just initiated some work with the Gallup Industries and uh, we're conducting a study now on a regular basis that helps us look at these micro businesses. And this is an area that's not looked at very often. These are businesses that have five or fewer employees. Mm -hmm. It is growing. It right now, it's up to almost 50% of these micro businesses are run by women. Mm -hmm. And the exciting thing that we're seeing with this is that women are so excited about this. They're maintaining their day job, but they're planning a lot of their personal cash into getting something started. And these are the businesses that we all enjoy. Mm -hmm. Those cupcake shops on the yes, corner, the pizza yes. shops, and those yeah. kinds of things that really are the areas we want to see grow. you women have a great instinct for entrepreneurial activities. They do. They do. And why is Sam's Club interested in these micro businesses? We're interested because, you know, when we started 30 years ago, we started to really, um, we began our company just to focus on small businesses. And oh. so this was our core for a good number of years. And so we maintain relationships with small business owners. Can I ask you about Mary Barra? You were both on yes. the Forbes list. You were both on the Fortune list of 100 powerful women. Um, I would like to know how you think she's doing. And do you ever feel the pressure? Forbes did an article yesterday that women executives face double bind pressure. Do mm -hmm. you feel that? And how how do you think she's handling this crisis? You know, I've been really impressed with the way she's handling this crisis. She's doing what I think is a phenomenal job under some really tough circumstances. I've been impressed. Mm -hmm. Apologize and, and make a commitment to the future. Absolutely. She's totally committed to Do you resolution. feel double bind pressure? You know, she's criticized as a woman, praised as a woman. I believe there's likely some reality to that, mm -hmm. you know, so I think I'm um, empathetic to what she's going through. All Thank right. you. Good to see you. Good yeah. to see you. Thank Roger. you very much. Onwards to 100 billion. Let us know when we you will. hit that number. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.